It's that time of year when the seed company boxes are rolling in and I have my first seed haul of the season. Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and welcome back to our channel. Now, yes, I got my very first seed haul in for the year and we are very excited to have our gardens here in Kentucky this year. Now, Philip has been working hard on a garden plan because we not only want to raise our own food this year, we want to raise food for the farm as well. So it's a very large undertaking and we need to have a good solid plan to make it happen. Now I got my first order in and I thought I would open it with you. Now we already have a lot of seeds on hand and I did a video about how I did my seed box, which you can see right up here. And we are gonna be working out of our supply as in addition to the seeds that we ordered. <clears throat> okay. Let's look at the biggest thing first. So the first thing that uh, we ordered is buckwheat, and this is a grass grain. And the reason that we wanted to have buckwheat is because this works as a cover crop, but we're also going to use it for chicken. You just hand cast this seed and you allow it to germinate and grow, and then the chickens will forage on the buckwheat areas. And we want to move our chicken tractors over the buckwheat. Now let's look at the rest of the seeds. So first up is some green cabbage. And I don't think I've ever grown cabbage before. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna do some fermentation, some sauerkraut to be able to preserve the cabbage. Next up is calendula. And these are flowers. And this is a medicinal flower as well. I'm excited to try this in some soap making in addition to some of the other things that we'll do with it. I chose a broccoli seed and this wasn't my first broccoli choice. This is Imper Imperial. It is a hybrid broccoli and we eat a lot of broccoli at our house. So definitely excited about growing that. Now I have a couple of kinds of carrots and this is actually the main reason that I ordered from Johnny Seed. These are a pelleticized, pelleticized, pelleted? Pelleticized carrot seed. And that just means that they are easier to handle. Now I first saw pelleticized, pelleted seeds from another homesteader and her seeds were perfectly spaced. And I was like, how do you perfectly space your carrots? Because they're such a tiny seed, they're really hard to do that and I don't wanna do a bunch of thinning. So pelleted seeds is the way that we went. Now it says this has a minimum of 250 seeds in it. Um, that doesn't look like a lot in there, but I guess it is. Now this is the it's an early hybrid carrot. It's the Napoli carrots. And I need to set that aside because I need to seal it back up. Now I also ordered some Bolero carrots and these are also pelleticized as well so that they're easier to plant. I have some common chamomile, which obviously chamomile is good for medicinal. We can make tea and things like that. Oh, this is the kale. So this is the Black Magic kale. And also the kale that I wanted was sold out, but I'm actually growing kale for animals. So this is going to be for cows and probably pigs as well. Now this is fennel and fennel is an herb and this was something Philip wanted to plant. So we're planting fennel. Now fennel can be used like in sausage and things like that. And this is another thing I've never grown before. Yarrow. Now yarrow is a medicinal herb and we do actually have yarrow growing on the property as well. 
but um, this way we can plant it exactly where we want and maybe have some variety from what's growing here on the homestead. Broom corn. Now broom corn is also called sorghum and this is actually something that we're growing for the chickens. So um, at Homesteaders of America We've learned a lot from Sean and Beth Dougherty, and they grow all of their food for their animals on their farm. And sorghum was recommended by them as a good resource for chickens. And the last one I have is lemon balm. Now, lemon balm is also a medicinal herb, and I've never tried this, so I'm excited to try this as well. And man, these sound tiny too. Yikes. So there it is, my tiny, my first seed haul of the season from Johnny Seed. And here at Kowalski Mountain, we're getting a little bit of spring fever, trying to hold back and understand that we're only in full spring and we have some time to go before spring will really be here. Well, friends, I hope you have enjoyed this little insight into what we're going to be planting in our garden this year. We so appreciate you watching, especially to the very end. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that button. We'd love you to be a part of the Kowalski Mountain family. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my seeds away and I do have a full video on how I designed my system. You know, it's just the system I use and it's working for me. 